Hands on the ground, beautiful evening, St. Paul, Minnesota. St. Paul, Minnesota, excuse me. Noisy train here. Melted structure, melted fucking structure. Big one. Okay, big one. Lots of brick ash, lots of limestone, lots of lots of what they call sandstone. It's not. It's brick ash, baby. This is ash, soft ash, baby. That's soft ash. That's brick ash. And it's white. It's ash. It's soft white ash. Masonry ash. Look at this here. That's ash, baby, coming from where the building, the big right angle building. And it's a, uh, and it's a brick ash, baby. That's soft brick ash, baby. And it's deep. And it's deep. And this is all ash rubble up here. It's all ash rubble up here and limestone coming off the building. Tons of holes up there. And I see mortar lines and just brick patterns up here. And stuff reaching down. You see melted stuff oozing down. You come over here, you got brick ash. You got big piles of rubble all the way all the way down the tracks. You got piles of rubble coming off the building here, cascading down. It's a right angle building. It's a right angle fucking building. And it's got uh, mortar lines and melt. Well, let's take a look at this melt right here. I know it's a bit shadowy here. Let's get closer to it. It'll be better here. Now, now we know what melted looks like. We know what hot surfaces look like. What does this look like here? And we see mortar lines here. We see mortar lines here, we see mortar lines here. I'm not sure if we're gonna find any bricks still noticeably recognizable because this has been smoked. Fucking smoked. But we can see that it was very hot, viscous. This is all ash. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. You know? Look at it pouring out. Just pouring. And you can see that they were bricks. You can see. Here's one here, here's the next one, same size as the one below it. And you can see that one came out right here. One came out right here. Here's the mortar line still above it. Okay. And it's just bricks. It's, that's all it is. See a big fat mortar line here. It got all. Okay. And you can see that this was flowing away from the structure right here. Oh, it's done. That's good. That's good. So St. Paul downtown's down there. And I'm over here checking out this melted wall and we can see it's melted you can see which way it was flowing downward right yes that's the way stuff melts down see here see it was very hot hot colors right this ain't hard this ain't difficult hot colors brick lines mortar lines you got they're always the size of bricks they're always these are, these are always the size of bricks between these always and that's, and that's just a coincidence, eh? Not to mention that we find bricks sticking out of these, this type of material everywhere. So, I mean, the evidence is empirical. It's, it's embarrassing. So, this is, uh, it's just great evidence of melt, flow. You can see the flow, and it's, it's look at here. Look at here. You see? You see how it was flowing down? You see it's a mess in here. And this is supposed to be carved by Ice Age floods. This is supposed to be carved by Ice Age floods, and this was hot and melted here. So what happened here? Say that, that ain't right. There's bricks in here. Right angle bricks everywhere. Yeah, they're smoked, but yeah, they were bricks. I'm not sure what these big hash marks are right here. And just look at the mess. These are viscous patterns, hot patterns, hot melt. This is all ash up here coming down. And yes, it's very unrecognizable now as a structure, but you have to look for the clues because this structure has just been severely damaged. But it's no different than the other ones. It's still a melted building. Stuff melting down. And that happened all at once. I didn't over time leach them down. That happened at once. All it did. And you can see that this is hot and melting down. Getting thicker and thicker as it pulls up at the bottom. Away from the structure. There's a round tower bit. There's a round fucking tower up there. So what's that? 
and another, another tower right here. It's like a double one right here. So it's a castle or something. And there's, uh, there's a big... Oh wow, I can go back behind that pirate. I wonder if there's an opening back there. It's so extreme up there. I don't think I can get up there. But there is, it is flat up there again at some point. It's so extreme though. I don't know how you get up there. And it's so loose, it's all ash, you can't really do that. It's not really a question, it's not really an option even. It's so extreme. Yeah, this is impressive. This is I mean it's it's severely severely melted. But you see the right angle, it's a right angle building. Just what's going on here? I don't know. I don't know what this was. It's on the river, so maybe a huge star fort. And see here? It, it's, melt, it's just stuff melting down the side of the building. There's a gap right here. There should not be a gap in the stone. There's a gap right there. Hang on. We're gonna check out that. Ah, look at these. So you got these all in a row here. These holes just happen to all be in rows. And those are the windows. You can faintly see more of them in the same row all the way down. St. Paul, Minnesota. Got brick ash everywhere. Oh, where's the gap? I just forgot what I was doing. Yeah, there's a big gap right in between there. Huh. And just right angles. It's a right angle building. What are these? These walls are shifting out and stuff. Just holy smokes. At the very top, the bricks seem to be more noticeable and actually even red. If you were to get up there, which is ground level up there, that's ground level way up there. If you were to get up there and look down over the side, you're going to see bricks. And I think I do want to get up there somehow. Uh, that is um, Indian Mounds State Park up there too. Indian Mounds, and they're not, they're buildings. And we will be paying a visit to that park soon. They're just melted buildings. There's red lines up over here in the, in the stuff. Big red streaks across. And holes in, in lines. These holes are all in lines. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you see these, these holes? Are in rows. These are perfect. These are too perfect. These aren't sedimentary. Carving, you know, perfectly straight. It, there is no such thing as sedimentary nothing. Where's the deposits coming from? The air? Where's the deposits coming from? They say over time, deposits, layering up. What deposits? We don't have uh, soil and such coming from the sky. No, we don't. Oh, look at this. Okay, hang on. Wow. Yeah, there's some red in there, some bright red. It's just enormous. I'm looking for openings, like like a big opening or something, but I don't see any big enough. I mean, it's just closed shut. But uh, where was it? Right here. Right here. There you go. There's some limestone. There's three rows of bricks. Think right there. That's what it is. Okay, over here is getting interesting on this side of the structure. Let's check this out. This here looks to be old. Yes, it is. It's really old. This is old. Look at the plate design. Plate and rivet. That's an old, that's an old. Oh yeah, look at the base. Fucking A. This has been here. I'm still using it today. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, look at that. These are smoked. These are, damn it, these are smoked. Yeah, that's damaged. They're burnt. Oh, 
this shit, that's all. Look at this, look at these rivets in the plates. Yeah, there's square heads in here. Look at this, they're not even using all of it anymore. Look at this. The square heads. Oh, they smoke like rivets in the plates. Rivets in the plates. Wow. That's cool. And this structure is, yeah, this brick. This is brick lines. That's what they are. If you're having a hard time seeing them out, I know, I know this is probably just a joke. They're looking like this is just a cliff. But when you do see it, come back and look at this again. And then you'll see, holy shit, what the fuck happened? Because this building was enormous, and what was it? And it was smoked. See the viscous holes here? That ain't from water erosion, baby. That's what it's supposed to be. Yet we have, we have not eroded sedimentary layers here. We have melted ashen structures here. And that's not what we're told this is. We're told that this is sedimentary carved out by Ice Age floods here in Minnesota. Yet the material's burnt. And it's leaching, it was melting down. It was leaching, melting down. Okay, yes it was. That's not, that's not water erosion. These aren't water marks, nothing. It's burnt. If you don't know what a hot surface looks like, try preschool again. Try preschool and then come back. Because we're not going anywhere. This is the, oh my God. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're not gonna be able to see any of this, are you? Oh. It's like a, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, back in there, there's just all sorts of different sectional areas of the building. And I can see it's like different, uh, you can go around the corner there, go around the corner here, up there. Oh man, hang on, let's see if we can get a better look at that. There's so many trees right here. Of course, you have a ton of trees right here. Uh, and that's no accident either. Ah, damn, you can't really see. I can barely see it, even. Okay. Well, I might have to try to get up there to see where exactly this is. I think that, that's, I think it is the state park up there. I'm gonna have to go over this edge and peek over. It's likely gonna be difficult. It's likely not very accessible up there, is my guess. But, look at the hot, look at over here, it's black. Look at the bricks over here, squished. These are bricks squished. See? Squished bricks with mortar between. Squished bricks with the mortar between. This is melted. Oh, there's water in here. Holy shit. There's water in the pits right here. There's water in here. But look at this. Water erosion, right? Not melted and hot. This would be a better candidate for their bullshit volcanic stories. But that's not even what they say here. That's not even what they say. They say that this is Ice Age carved out and this shit's burnt. And this shit is burnt. And they're bricks. Look at here. Man, I can't believe there's water in that. Yeah, look at the water in there. I almost have stepped right in it too. And right here, these are just bricks. It was a red brick structure, without a doubt. I can say with confidence it was. A few more areas to check out down here, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off and uh, head that way towards downtown. I'll show you a few things downtown in Lower Town. I found a prime example of, um, well, I found some evidence. Let, let, let's just put it that way. I found a great example. I'll show you. I'll show you. In Lower Town, which is actually the lowest terrace, of the lowest part of downtown that meets the river. And that's on the lowest terrace. That's why they call it Lower Town. And there it's all old buildings. It's all um, historic buildings. Okay, so there's a big wood, there's a big wood fence up there. The 
train would. Oh man, this is just, so look at the big wood. What's that all about? Blocking something. And there seems to be a, a dip inside the structure right here. It goes all the way back. Yeah, look at this. Wow, what's that big straight line doing going all the way up? And straight down. Fracture, eh? Fracture, eh? No, no, no. These are all brick lines here. And that's why they're all parallel and even all the way down. That's why they're parallel and even all the way down. Look at here. Here's your bricks. They're always the size of bricks. Always. Why aren't the sedimentary layers ever like an inch wide? Why are they always brick width? They're never like an inch. You never see like a ton of like inch long. They're always brick. They're always brick width. At least here in the Twin Cities they are for the most part. For the most part, they're always the size of bricks. Every single sedimentary bullshit line. Hey, what's this big seam right here in this part of the building? Look, it's black and it's burnt. What's all this weathering here? And, not, and there's none of this black stuff down here, eh? So what is it then? It's not weather. There's a barrel up there, an old world iron barrel. That's structure. See how it's melting down? See how it's melting down? Okay. Another seam right here. Another section of the building, of the structure. Perfect seam right there. And it's not a, it is not a building. And it's not a building, right? Look at this melting. That all happened at once. That ain't over time nothing. That happened in one day. All this leaching stuff, that all leached in one day. One dreadful day, this all happened. And there was a day where all this city and every city was smoking. Smoke was coming up, billowing up from every city around the realm. And it probably blackened the sky. When this happened, it probably blackened the sky. But anywho. Wow. That's incredible. That's really melted. But I don't think we're gonna find, I was very really hoping to find like a brick, like a noticeable brick somewhere, but um, to, me, to me it's all noticeable because I know what it is, you can see what it is, but I was just hoping like, damn, I hope I find this one brick sticking out noticeable, but this building is smoked. But we got plenty of, plenty of other examples of great evidence to prove that this was a building. Uh, and these flat walls right here like this. Look at this angle right here. Angles back this way and then go down here too. So we'll stop that. We'll end it right there at the end. I think that's pretty much where the building stops. But look at this. It angles back this way. Perfectly straight. Isn't that interesting? There's a big divot right there. There was something in there. A pipe or something. That's that's the structure, baby. Seams every, every every 20 feet is a seam. Every 20 feet there is a seam, and they're and they're melted bricks too. Look at this right here, this right angle right here. Give me a break. Give me a break. I love you all and take care, baby. This is St. Paul, Minnesota, melted structure. Here's some bricks. Well, we're gonna find them right at the end here. We're gonna find them right at the end. This is where we're gonna find the. The ones I've been looking for, hey? That's pretty damn close right there. That's, I mean, they're black, but they're, they're pretty noticeable. Uh, pretty flat face, brick size right there. But, I think that's good. And I love you all. There's water down here, it's very clean. Very, very, very clean. And it's coming out of a spring or something back here. It's very strange, very interesting. Yeah, look at the row. Look at the row of bricks right there, two rows. 
melted, melted structure. Very melted. <laughs> I love it. I love you guys. Take care. Wow, I said, oh. Holy smokes, there it is. <laughs> There's the opening I'm looking for. There's all sorts of tech in there, metal tech. Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. Big machine in there. <laughs> wow. And bricks more noticeable here. Much more noticeable here. Wow, what a what a structure, eh? What a motherfucking structure. There's some windows there. There's some windows. 